Fulham are dreadful, mate. This is just another thing in a truly awful day in the life of a Fulham fan, mate. Fulham need serious help. Please remember if you're new here to subscribe to the channel just down below. Get Issa Diop out of the starting 11. He just is not good enough. How Tim Ream was sent off is beyond me. Referee Darren Bond is a pathetic little freak, mate. He made it all about himself this afternoon. I'm sick to death of VAR and officials making pathetic wrong calls. It, I'm sick to death of it, mate. I am completely losing my mind. First, Alexander Mitrovic. Well, first we lost 3-0 to Brentford, which was absolutely fantastic. Let's take a look at some of the goals, shall we? Goals... Number one, which was completely undeserved for Brentford. It literally came out of nowhere. Issa Diop attempts to pass the ball back to Bernd Leno. Gets it completely wrong. Undercooks the pass. And Visa runs on through pretty much. Rounds Leno. has got an open goal and bang. Puts it into the back of the net just before half time. It was... So undeserved, but it was so pathetic from Issa Diop, mate. He is incompetent of passing a football. He is so bad at playing out from the back. We have Calvin Bassey on the bench, who we just spent 18 million quid on. And we're still playing Issa Diop. We knew it last season. We knew it in pre-season. I would rather have 17-year-old the future old play. Issa Diop needs to get gone. It was a good experiment. It was good whilst it lasted. But he is truly incompetent. The first half, we completely controlled. Yes, we didn't really create much. But Brentford took their chance off a stupid decision from Issa Diop. Goal number two there, mate. Embermo penalty. Reem. Brings down Visa already on a yellow card and gets branded with a second yellow. See you later, cold bath. The game has completely gone. If you watch the highlights back and you watch this challenge, Ream didn't even have anything on him, mate. To give him a second yellow is just awful officiating, both from the referee and VAR. More needs to be done. It wasn't a second yellow. It was it was just god awful officiating, mate. Watch it back. Come back to me. Leave me a comment as well. I've watched it about 50 times now. I'm sick to death of it. I think it will be taken back. The FA will take a look at it and think, do you know what? VAR and Darren Bond, they got it wrong. They always get stuff wrong. I'm sick to death of it. And he will not serve a suspension. But knowing our luck, he probably will. Goal three then just before the end. Nine minutes added on. Everyone had just given up. Well done, Brentford. Much the better team. It, uh, it pains me to say it, but fair enough. Well done. Strong moments before our ass completely fell out in the second half. We dominated the majority of that first half until Visa scored. There were some slight moments where Brentford could have gone ahead, but still, we weren't actually creating enough. I have so much praise for Sasha Lukic. He was the absolute governor in midfield, mate. He was defending, playmaking, dominating the middle of the park, mate. It was a joy to watch until everything started to crumble. Kenny Tete proving that he is one of the best right-backs in the whole league. So strong going forwards defensively as well. Whenever Issa Diop would make a mistake. It was always Lukic and Tete that would pick up the pieces. We put so much pressure on Brentford, but we just did nothing. Brentford was so much better on the counter-attack, and we got let off in the 37th minute when the ball got played across. Anthony Robertson just gets there to clear the ball. Brentford were overloading the box on corners, and we just couldn't deal with them. They had every single man in there. Two players short as well, which we just weren't picking up. We weren't picking up. We completely switched off. We have such a good squad, but nothing is able to click. It's difficult to watch. It's really difficult. As soon as the Visa goal goes in, before half time, everyone just turns into a ghost. And that's the same showing for the second half as well. Credit to Ethan Pinnock and the majority, apart from Hickey, because I think he's actually terrible. Apart from Hickey, everyone in that Brentford back line had a solid game. You cannot criticise them. They were so good. There are so many worries with Fulham. And I'm going to start from Raul Jimenez, mate. He does not create anything. It's so good, yes, that he drops deep and tries to create stuff, but this guy is a huge 
downgrade to Alexander Mitrovic, who has now left the club and is on his way to sign for Al Halal. Plus, did you see that Rabona cross in the second half? You're 2-0 down and you're trying a Rabona cross. That sort of trickery and wizardry is the only thing that you should be doing when you are 2-0 up, not 2-0 down. I do not want that in my club. Drill it across the box for someone to hopefully tap it in. Harry Wilson, anyone, any winger that could potentially be there so they can tap it in. Bobby, they're called over Reed, but still, what is this like one trick pony even doing? Doing a Rabona, it's just disrespectful. Mitrovic has gone, we now need someone better to lead the line. And we need signings ASAP, mate. I am not going down to deadline day when we get some has-been players. Florin Balogun is there for the taking. Let's spend the Mitrovic money, bring in some more centre-backs and bring in some class players. This season can't be over before it's already even properly started. I thought that Ivan Tony was going to be a huge miss for Brentford, but Mbomo and Visa, mate, they could be playing in the top four easily. They are unbelievable. Those players could genuinely play for the likes of Liverpool. They are a joy to watch. Brentford fans, you have got, and you already know this, you don't need me to tell you, two incredible players in your starting eleven, and them two, mate. They completely changed the game, completely dominated us, mate. And that's the same story for the second half as well. Our passing was just all over the place. I think it was about 70th minute. I checked some stats and we had a 58 pass completion rate, which is shocking. At home as well, second game of the season. Those are the sort of stats that we're bringing up. Really? Pathetic, mate. Absolutely pathetic. We just weren't up for it. At all. They should probably refund some of the fans for that, mate. Polina came on in the second half and tried his best to fix everything. He must be wondering why he's at the club. And I firmly believe that Liverpool will put in a bid towards the end of the window. We all know that Liverpool need a set of defensive midfielder. And he would be the perfect addition at Anfield, mate. This guy is capable of playing Champions League football, not losing 3-0 to Brentford in your first home game of this season. He's gone. He's he, If I was him, I'd be packing my bags. I don't think I'd have another transfer request, but if Liverpool want to pay big money and get a robust set of defensive midfielder, I know they've got Endo. I know they've just signed Endo, but Polina is probably the sound signing for them that they need to do. They need to do it. Improvements and get Issa Diop gone. I am completely done with him. We need to start creating more. Andreas Pereira isn't doing anything. Bring in Kearney. Make subs earlier into the second half. Pereira bottled so many challenges, mate. His passing was so off this afternoon. Looks like a shadow of his former self. Make changes quicker, like I just said then. Make changes at halftime if things aren't working. Bring in more fresh legs when Tim Ream gets sent off. This is primary school stuff. I will not slag off Marco Silva, but this is simple stuff. We need to start making substitutions quicker. Who do we have on the bench? Adama Traore, he's probably ready to go on his debut. Get him out on the pitch. Willian, who's also on the bench. Tom Kearney, who's on the bench. Polina, who's probably not match fit, who is on the bench and can change the game. And Calvin Bassey as well. 18 million quid and we're not starting him. He looks so strong and we're not starting him. I, there needs to be significant changes. And guess who we've got next weekend? Arsenal. Good to see Tete and Lukic balled in. Now, Bobby Reid had some good chances, hit the bar as well. Leno, even though he conceded three, you can never fault him. He did nothing wrong today. Got us out of trouble. It probably could have been five. Probably could have been four or five easily. Just, we need signings and we need them now. We're not going to get relegated, mate. There, there's, uh, there's, a, there's plenty of worse clubs than us this season. Just look at L Luton and Sheffield United. But... Seriously, if we want to finish in a respectable place, if we want to battle on to try and break into the top 10, changes need to be made. Tony Khan, get your checkbook out. We need centre-backs. What happened to Morato, who we were linked to? What's happening with Hudson-Odoi? What is happening with Damari Gray?
Gray. We need to sign someone like Balogun. We cannot have Raul Jimenez leading the line. He is not the guy, mate. He's not the guy. Well done to Brentford. Absolutely outplayed us. You guys deserved it. Normally, I would slag you off, but you were much the better team. And what a team Thomas Frank has built at the Brentford Community Stadium. Fulham is, is tough. And we need to fix the issues right now. Please remember, if you're new here, to subscribe to the channel just down below.